Well, this is Al again with the uh, next update. Uh, these are some solar panels that I picked up from uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, and the reason I did pick them up is because they were very inexpensive. Uh, I got lucky and I got a coupon that allowed me to get them for $159 for each set. So I got two sets here, you can see. Uh, another one that I've already opened. And there's the solar panels right here. Uh, so that's one set that I already opened. Uh, and then so that's three sets then I have two more sets here so that's five all together and then I got another coupon for the individual 15 watt solar panels out of uh, our Harbor Freight and I ended up picking up uh, a few more of those so I got a total of 22 panels all together to put up which gives me only about 330 watts, but these amorphous uh, panels actually put out a little bit more power than they're rated at, at least for the first uh, few months or so. Uh, but they do uh, continue to put out 80% of their power after 20 years, so they're very, very long-lasting panels. Uh, and uh, those are gonna go into uh, my new board that I created up here. But anyways, so they're gonna go up on the roof uh, which is uh, not slanted as, as tall as the first roof where I, where I put in the first set of panels. Uh, those are going to go into this roof here. So you can see there's uh, not as much of an angle on this one. And I'm going to angle it up with the uh, brackets that came with it. But uh, this roof is actually very easy to work on. Uh, so we're just going to use some uh, pressure treated 2x4s. And we're going to make the frame. Uh, to mount the panels up to and raise them. Uh, from there I'm going to use PVC pipe, junction box up top just like we did with the other side, uh, bring them down through here, go across into this uh, shed and then run it down through the wall uh, right at the bottom there. We're going to bring them down, bring them down and uh, come back up to this and they're going to go through the amp meter and right into these terminals that you see here, they're going to feed these uh, grid time inverters. Uh, that's the plan for right now. Um, the rest that you can see here is actually the, how the board is coming up. Uh, it's not full, it's not, it's not finished yet, I'm still working on it. But uh, we'll talk about it a little bit more in the next, uh, the next video. So that's what I'm going to do with these uh, solar panels from Harbor Freight that actually look pretty good. Uh, the controller, the charge controller that came from each one, I'm not even going to use. But uh, this is it. That's what came with it. And they're all right uh, to power up these uh, 12 volt lights that came with it, but they're not very powerful at all. So I don't know why anybody would use them unless you had a real emergency. Um, so the one good thing about these uh, wind max, the, the wind max uh, generators, is that the charge controllers for them are made to handle both wind and solar. So as you can see from this uh, light here, depending on you know which color is, is on, uh, it'll tell you which one is, char is, is uh, actually charging. So I'm gonna go back to a 24 volt setup and I'm gonna use uh, the solar panels eventually and the, uh, the wind tur turbines. And I got two of those, so there's, that's why there's two charge controllers. And these inverters, uh, you can see there's a grid tie inverter here on the left hand side. I'm sorry, it's not a grid tie inverter. It is a, uh, just a pure sine wave inverter. It's a two, two kilowatt. And there's another 1.2 kilowatt inverter that I got real cheap out of uh, uh, Harbor Freight. I do uh, actually do use the coupons from Harbor Freight because sometimes they got, you know, deals that you just can't turn them down. Uh, and I'll go through this board in the next uh, video. Thanks and uh, take care.